<sighs> I mean, this could really, really fill up and maybe bloat an ant, but not me. That was a nice. Y'all know when a piece of cheese gets stuck in the back of your throat and it's like stretching down your throat? That just happened to me. <laughs> Guys, I gained two pounds. I weighed myself this morning and I am two pounds heavier than I was two days ago. So <laughs> this is the perfect taste test for today. So guys, I'm so excited about this taste test. I am gonna try all of this Nutrisystem food. I mean, y'all, it's a lot of food, but it's low calorie. <laughs> Good for my titties. Okay, so here's a little backstory. First of all, not sponsored, okay? <laughs> so my mom actually did Nutrisystem years ago. She did like the whole plan thing. She like stuck to it for like months and it worked. She lost so much weight and she's like kept it off for like years now. Now when she did it, all her food came in the mail, um, but it was like powdered food. It was like little dry soups that you add water to or like a dry pizza that you add water to. Like it was like all like dehydrated, non-perishable stuff. And it always smelled really bad when she ate it. So I'm just being honest, it smelled like a fart. And so I always thought that this brand was just gross and I was just like, I mean, it helps you lose weight, but it looks disgusting. But then like one day, like a month or two ago, I was bored and I was just browsing the Nutrisystem store um, just out of curiosity. And I saw that they have tons of frozen food like a ton when I say a ton I mean a ton like literally <laughs> probably like over a hundred options I was shook and it all actually looked decent it didn't look like the dehydrated food that my mom ate and so I was like I need to taste test all of this but there were so many options that I have decided to do a three-part Nutrisystem taste test Three, three days. So this is the first part. I'm gonna be trying their appetizer type foods. And then in part two, I'm gonna try their actual like dinners, like full on meals. And then in part three, I'm gonna try their desserts. And they have tons of desserts and they all look delicious. I kind of like the idea of doing like a deep analysis of Nutrisystem's whole menu. So if you guys like this, make sure to let me know and I'll do maybe some other brands, like a deep, like full little taste test series on them, okay? I think this series might be very helpful for people that want to try Nutrisystem to see if it works and all that, you know, like to try to um, lose weight by using it. I think it'll be nice to see someone taste all of it and tell you if it's good and what are the good items, what are the bad items, at least in my opinion. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for this series. This is just part one, so stay tuned for part two and part three. Subscribe if you have not. By the way, I do have a membership on my channel, so if you want to, you can check it out. I have live streams, a secret Twitter and Instagram, my music, all that is in different tiers in my membership. So go check it out if you want to click that join button or click the link at the top of the description. So let's take a look at everything that I got. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> Quarantine's got me looking like a damn chicken. Call me poyo ass bitch. Okay, so I got this Italian sausage and turkey pepperoni pizza. Looks like that. It looks pretty good. Of course, I'm gonna tell y'all all the calories as I taste test everything. By the way, prices are actually decent. Almost everything here was either $3.25 or $3.75. Now, the dinner meals are a bit more. I think they're around $6. So that video is going to be pricey for me, girl. <laughs> but these lunchy type appetizer items are a lot cheaper. So that's great. Nutrisystem also does have a lot of these like pop pocket type things, like a lot of them. They'll shove anything into a pocket. <laughs> a lot of us will actually. So this is a pepperoni pizza melt pocket. We have a chicken mozzarella melt pocket, steak and cheese melt, meatball parmesan melt, <laughs> four cheese melt. There's a lot guys, I'm sorry, oh my God. Barbecue seasoned chicken melt, Southwest melt, spinach and cheese pretzel melt. Listen, it might be repetitive, but they all sound pretty delicious to me. Thai style chicken melt, broccoli and cheese melt, beef stir fry melt. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we have something else. We have a cheesesteak pizza. That sounds delicious. A hamburger, y'all, I love hamburgers. A grilled chicken sandwich, a vegetable frittata, which is almost like an eggy pie thing. <laughs> In case you don't know what the frittata is. A turkey ham and cheese omelet, and then a chicken and bacon ranch pizza. I smell caca. I smell a whole feces, and it doesn't smell like my dog's usual feces. It smells like the Rhea. Oh my gosh, I hope they don't have the Rhea. Let me go check. No, it's a normal turd, but it just smells different. Regina is serving a variety. 
Let me go wash my hands for 20 seconds, get the caca out from under my nails. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not under my nails. Oh my god. Someone asked me in the comments, Timmy, why do you always sweat on the sides of your belly? And I'm like, I don't sweat there. I just dry my hands on my shirt. That's just what I do. And pe someone thought I sweat on, on the sides of my belly. I cannot. Okay, so that is everything I got. I think I have 18 items here. Now, it is all still frozen. And so I'm just going to microwave each item before I taste it so it's nice and fresh and hot. Y'all, I have grown a lot. I used to let everything get cold, but I've learned. You guys taught me, you were like, you bitch, everything's cold. And I was like, I'm sorry. And then I changed, we love peer pressure. Okay, so first let's try something simple. Let's do the four cheese little hot pocket melt. So it says mozzarella, fat-free cheddar, parmesan and romano cheeses with sauce in a whole grain roll. We love whole grain, I do. It is 240 calories, very nice, a bit less than a Hot Pocket. 450 milligrams of sodium, that's a lot. Okay, so to cook it, it says to put it in a paper towel and place it in the microwave. I don't have paper towels because of the quarantine shortage. So I'm just gonna have to cook it without a paper towel. Sorry, Nutrisystem, but you're asking for too much, bitch, especially in times like this. Okay, so my pocket is cooked. It has some drippage happening there, some leakage. Very soft, very cute. It is a bit smaller than a Hot Pocket. This is classified as a lunch. I mean, this could really, really fill up and maybe bloat an ant, but not me. Anyways, let's try it. In all honesty, it's not horrible. It is not bad, but it tastes like a really flavorless Hot Pocket. I'm just being honest. Um, I do like the texture of the bread type coating thing. It is very soft and fluffy, and I like that. And the filling has a good texture too. It's like nice and like gooey, but the taste is really lacking. Honestly, for like a little more calories, I would rather get a Hot Pocket. Now, 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 there are tons of flavors of these pockets, so the other ones might be better. By the way, guys, of course, I'm gonna rank everything from worst to best at the end of the video. And the fun thing is, is that at the end of this three-part series, I will have found the perfect three-course Nutrisystem meal. <laughs> Appetizer, dinner, and dessert. So, stay tuned. Uh, let's do something that's not a pocket. Let's do the omelet, the turkey ham and cheese omelet. So it says, a fluffy omelet filled with turkey ham, reduced fat cheddar cheese, and Swiss cheese. Delicious. Delicious. It is only 90 calories. This is a breakfast. 90 calories. That is very low. Um, if I was y'all, I would eat some fruit with this, maybe. It's only 1.5 grams of fat, 380 milligrams of sodium, still pretty high. For 90 calories, it's very high. Let's go cook this up. By the way, guys, I forgot to say my oh look at my oh hey. pow! I forgot to say my little disclaimer. Um, I'm not telling anyone to try Nutrisystem or to diet. Nothing at all. I'm just trying these to see which is the most delicious item. So that might help someone, might not, I don't know, but I hope it's entertaining. Okay, so this is the omelet. Looks quite squishy and it's very wet, so it's sliding around like a wet whore. <laughs> also guys, another reason why um, I never like taste tested Nutrisystem was I thought you had to be on a plan to even get food and plans are pricey. You know what I mean? Like a monthly plan where they ship you food and all that stuff. You don't, they have a whole a la carte store, a la carte, in case you don't know and you're not classy. It means kind of like things by themselves. So you can just get like one item and buy it. So that's where I got all these items on their a la carte store. I'll put it right here as you can see. Okay, so let me just open the flap right here. Oh wow. That looks appetizing. That is how it looks inside. It smells like a pig just dropped all of its fat in it. Like a very hammy, hammy moment. Let's try it. I'm gonna try to get a bite from the center so I can get all that filling. Mmm. That's not bad at all. I actually like it. Um, I expected much worse. The egg is like kind of spongy, but it does feel like Scrambled eggs, it does. The ham flavor is strong, so if you don't like ham, you won't like this. I don't mind it. And there is a very strong chive flavor, like oniony chive, something happening going on in there. And the cheese is more like a sauce, but it's fine. It's actually pretty, pretty delicious. I just wish it was more calories or something, or just more filling, you know? This is just a very teeny tiny breakfast, but I actually liked it. So 
Next up, let's do a totally different pocket. Let's do the Thai style chicken melt. So it says sweet and spicy chicken in a whole wheat roll topped with minced green onions. That's pretty simple. You would think it would have more stuff in it, right? I don't know. 220 calories, three grams of fat, 290 milligrams of sodium. That's the lowest so far. So this is it. It literally has green onions all over it. <laughs> I thought it just meant like inside of it, but it's like literally covering it, okay? I might cut it with a fork because it's really, really hot. And I don't want to singe my finger. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like it at all. Like, oh, first of all, it needs salt desperately. Second of all, there's a chicken flavor that is not pleasant. It's like the kind of chicken flavor that tastes like a chicken bone. It tastes like, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like chicken that you have leftovers of that you microwave like days later and it has that like microwave chicken flavor. It tastes like that. I'm not a fan of this. I don't like the flavor. I don't like anything about it. Hell no. That's a hell no. Next up, let's try a pizza. Let's try the Italian sausage and turkey pepperoni pizza. So this pizza is 260 calories. 8 grams of fat, 570 milligrams of sodium. It says pizza with marinara sauce, reduced fat, mozzarella, Italian sausage, and dark meat turkey pepperoni. Okay. So here's the pizza. Um, the size is what I expected. It smells like a red pepper. I'm not a fan of that scent, but I don't know, guys. Let's see. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Let me, let me go my little, my little fork. Y'all, I don't use knives for like anything. I just cut food like this with the side of my fork. It's called being innovative. Okay, I'm processing. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, oh wow, great flavor. So at first, it tastes like a red pepper moment and I'm not a fan of that. But then as you chew, that flavor kind of goes away and you just taste a decently flavorful pizza. It shockingly doesn't need salt. <laughs> Even though it has so much sodium. The pepperoni has amazing flavor. The sausage has amazing flavor. The crust has a great kind of fluffy texture. I'm kind of shook. It isn't perfect, of course, but for a low calorie pizza, it is one of the better ones. Honestly, a lot better than um, Link Cuisine's pizza. Bitch. That is so good. I need more. It also has like a little Pizza Hut personal pizza aftertaste. I am quite impressed. I think it might be the best low calorie pizza I've had. Okay, next up, let's try another pocket. Let's do the spinach and cheese pretzel melt. It's a whole wheat pretzel crust. We love that. 230 calories, six grams of fat, 350 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbs, three grams of sugar, 12 grams of protein. Let's try it. Okay, so this looks slightly larger and more delicious than the other pockets. It's like very golden brown. This what it looks like, a flat ass ass. A flat ass ass. <laughs> Mmm, that one's great. First things first, needs salt. It needs salt. It's so unsalty tasting. Uh. The crust does serve me pretzel, but like an unconfident pretzel. A pretzel that's like, oh, I'm not that, I'm not that crispy and I'm not that fluffy and <laughs> I'm not that salty. A pretzel that needs a hug, but it still does serve me pretzel, so that's good. And the actual filling is nice and cheesy. It's good. It's creamy. It has a good flavor. It just needs salt. So overall, this is pretty good. It just needs more saltiness, but I like it, honestly. Next up, let's try the grilled chicken sandwich. It's a fully cooked flame grilled chicken breast patty on a whole grain bun. So I don't think that it comes with the tomato and lettuce, even though it is in the photo. I mean, I don't blame them. Like, how do you freeze a tomato and lettuce? That would just not be cute. But just don't put it in the photo then because it's a little like, it feels incomplete, you know? It's 220 calories, five grams of fat, 450 milligrams of sodium, 29 grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar, 13 grams of protein. Seven grams of sugar for chicken in a bun? That's weird. So this is it. Um, it is quite small, as you can see. <laughs> oh, it's really hot. I am not going to be adding condiments to it or anything. I want to see how it tastes out of the packaging. That's how it's given to you, so that's how I'm going to taste it. Um, some people might not have ketchup and mustard in their house, and then they'll just have to eat it like this, you know? So, I mean, that's cute. We love those painted grill marks. Those are, you know, they tried. They tried. Wow. Okay. So, the bun and the chicken both taste very nice. They taste like 
a chicken breast with a bun. It's actually very pleasant, but the texture of the chicken is a little icky. It isn't even like that foamy chicken nugget texture. It's more like foamy meets chewy. It's hard to explain, um, but I do think this is actually pretty good. Honestly, minus that kind of icky texture, the flavor's great. It tastes like a really clean chicken sandwich. Like, I'm not mad at it at all. Next up, let's try the meatball parmesan melts. Meatballs made with beef and turkey, low-fat mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, and sauce in a whole grain roll. 240 calories, six grams of fat, 490 milligrams of sodium. So this meatball one does look a little thicker. She's fuck compared to the other one. So I'm just gonna cut it in half to see what the meatballs actually look like and how large they are. Oh, okay, let's just, I'm just gonna grab one out of here, honestly. So these are the meatballs. They're very, very small, very cheesy though, but very tiny. I think this is like one and a half meatballs right here. I mean, you have to make them small to make them fit into a pocket. I got a meatball, it's all right. Kind of disappointing, a little, a little sad. So meatball texture is like any other frozen meatball. It's pretty good. The flavor is pretty good too. But once again, there is a lack of salt. Like salt really brings out every other flavor. And when there's like a lack of it, everything just kind of feels flat and kind of dull, you know? Now I know these have tons of sodium, but if you're gonna put that much sodium in it, make it taste salty or something, you know? Let's do another melt. Listen, the Nutrisystem CEO was like, you get a pocket, you get a pocket, you get a pocket. We all get pockets. Let's do the Southwest Fiesta Melt. A spicy mix of brown rice, black beans, corn, and cheese packed into a hearty roll. 240 calories, five grams of fat, 400 milligrams of sodium, 39 grams of carbs, two grams of sugar, eight grams of protein. I've gotten real fast at that, guys. Wow, I did that. So this is how it looks. It looks like the others, but it has like some kind of like chili powder or something on it to make it look a little orangey, which is cute. It's a nice touch. Let's cut it open in the middle to see the center. Y'all see that? It's like there's corn in there, beans and stuff like that. I don't like corn and rice together. I don't know why the textures just don't go, but we'll see if I like this. Mm -hmm. It literally tastes like any of those frozen Mexican style linguines, like those little bowls and stuff shoved into a pocket. Like, that's it. I don't like those little linguine Mexican bowls. They always taste weird to me. They have so much cilantro and just, ugh. And I don't like this at all. And I love Mexican food. I love it. But this is not it. Let's do another one of the pizzas, okay? Let's do the cheesesteak pizza. Reduced fat mozzarella, cheese sauce, ooh, seasoned beef steak, onions, and peppers on a pizza crust. 250 calories, six grams of fat, 450 milligrams of sodium. So this is what it looks like. Um, it actually looks pretty delicious, but I am very disappointed by the lack of meat. There's only a few pieces, and on here, there's like a ton, like a ton. So look at that, before and after, bitch. That is, that's disappointing, but it smells really, really good, but it's really hot, so I'm just gonna like cut it into little slices. Ooh, it cuts pretty nicely, honestly. Okay. Mmm. That's delicious. Oh my god. Um, the cheese sauce with the cheese on top of it is so creamy and so good. The steak tastes like steak, strangely. It tastes pretty real. I'm kind of shook. It is delicious. Okay. Their two pizzas have slayed me, so that's great. Wow, okay. Mm. Next up, the barbecue seasoned chicken melt. Seasoned shredded white meat chicken in a tangy barbecue sauce wrapped in a whole grain roll. <clears throat> 220 calories, 3.5 grams of fat, 330 milligrams of sodium, 35 grams of carbs. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Has a nice butt crack happening right here. Let's try it. Barbecue chicken. It's almost good. <laughs> Y'all see that? It like started out real sweet and nice and tangy but then the more i chewed it got this weird almost like a fake barbecue aftertaste it just didn't taste authentic at all um definitely not one of the worst but not one of the best either it's just okay the chicken texture is decent i didn't even notice it so not a big deal it's all right next up let's do the vegetable frittata it's only 120 calories 4.5 grams of fat 260 milligrams of sodium vegetable frittata with eggs zucchini bell peppers spinach and mozzarella it all sounds great besides the zucchini like i always say we don't know the squash family that's cute though that's it's kind of adorable let's go microwave this so it has a very particular smell 
kind of like black pepper and burnt egg. That's actually the name of my new fragrance. Black pepper and burnt egg. Imagine Una coming out with like a fragrance called herbs. <laughs> and it just smells like a blob of like cilantro. Let's get a piece. Wow. Y'all see that? Juicy. Okay. <laughs> it's very strong, the smell. It's like a lot. I don't know. It's weird. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like those eggs that you buy like pre-scrambled. It's like that egg mix and you just like pour it in the pan. It tastes like that mixed with sugar and black pepper. Like that's what it tastes like. It tastes like a sweet version of those eggs. And I don't like it at all. Honestly, a little bit nasty. <laughs> I am not a fan. That's gonna rank very low. Okay, so we still have like five pockets to try. Another pizza and a hamburger. Let's do another one of these pockets. Let's do the chicken mozzarella melt. Natural proportion chicken. What does that mean? Natural proportion chicken. Are the chickens like shaped well? Like do they have that hourglass figure? What do you mean natural proportion? Low fat mozzarella, tomatoes, parmesan cheese, and sauce in a whole grain roll. Okay. Oh, and it's 220 calories and the same sodium and all that as the others. <laughs> there's a lot to read guys and there's a lot of items. I'm sorry. Honestly, this one smells kind of like a sour taint No offense to Nutrisystem, but maybe don't make your hot pocket smell like a taint. Let's open it up It's squirting a little bit. We love that uh, <laughs> it's hot. Oh It don't taste like a taint. That's good. It was decent. It was decent. Okay. That's a nice Y'all know when a piece of cheese gets stuck in the back of your throat and it's like stretching down your throat? That just happened to me. <laughs> I'm not gonna title this video. I was attacked by Nutrisys though. <laughs> hey, Regine. Poo poo. Regina, come here, you sassy little bitch. Guess what, guys? Regina's getting a groom. Finally, after this long quarantine period, she is getting fully groomed in a week and I'm so excited. And of course, don't worry when we go and like um, drop them off, it's gonna be all contactless, I think. And we're gonna follow all the guidelines, wear masks, all that stuff. We're gonna be very safe. We're, we're, we're very paranoid people, so. So yeah, this is pretty good. It has a nice parmesan -y flavor. Um, the chicken doesn't taste too fake. The cheese is very stretchy and nice. Um, it doesn't really need salt, which is nice. Next up, let's do the hamburger. It's been eyeing me for so long, guys. So it's just a bun and a patty, and it's 240 calories, eight grams of fat, 540 milligrams of sodium, 240 calories. Perfect. Okay, so it's very hot, so I'm just gonna pick it up with this spoon. <laughs> ah, it's really hot. Okay, so this is the size. Y'all see that? It's pretty small, but the patty is pretty thick and large. It's pretty engorged. So, <laughs> I'm excited for it. Once again, I'm not trying this with any condiments, nothing. I'm just trying it the way it was produced. Huh? It's too hot. Oh my god. Uh. Huh? Uh. Wow. Mmm. Bitch. That's really good. That tastes like a perfectly fine gas station, like frozen burger. Like it tastes like any other frozen burger. It doesn't taste healthier. It doesn't taste different. It just tastes like a frozen burger. Um, with ketchup, mustard, tomatoes, pickles, everything, it would be on point. I'm very impressed with this. I think this is great. And it doesn't taste greasy at all, so that's nice. We have left steak and cheese melt, pepperoni pizza melt, <laughs> beef stir fry melt, and broccoli and cheese melt. Let's try next. Oh, and also this pizza. Um, let's try next the pepperoni pizza melt. It's simple, classic. I love pepperoni, so we'll see. Uh, 220 calories, 450 milligrams of sodium. I'm so full of Nutrisystem right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of done, okay? I'm done. Oh, but it's been fun. Okay, so let's try this pepperoni one. Mmm. Mm. Honestly, it tastes just like the four cheese one with a hint of pepperoni. Like, it needs salt. It needs everything. It's okay, but... It's just like the four cheese one, so. Next up, let's do the broccoli and cheese melt. So it's 210 calories and 450 milligrams of sodium. Damn, that broccoli and salsa. Okay. Mmm. That's good. Very good, wow. It tastes exactly, like exactly, like a broccoli and cheese hot pocket. The only difference is the texture of the actual pocket 
bread. Otherwise, it tastes just like it. I could not tell the difference. Like, it's so exact. It's great. If you've had that and you like it, you'll love this one. That's a bad bitch one. That is a bad bitch right there. Next up, let's do the beef stir fry melt. Thin sliced beef, broccoli, cabbage, carrots, and onions with soy sauce in a sesame seed topped whole grain roll. That sounds very good, actually. 210 calories and 320 milligrams of sodium. Not bad. It has little sesame seeds on the outside, if y'all can see that. At first it had a, kind of like a dog food flavor, and then the soy sauce flavor kicked in and it got like a bit better. But I just don't think that this kind of like Asian style meat goes well in a pocket. It doesn't taste like it goes together. I don't like it at all, like at all. The final pocket is here. It is the steak and cheese melt, and then we just have the chicken and bacon ranch pizza. Grilled beef steak, sauteed onions and peppers with provolone, and mozzarella cheese is baked in a whole grain roll. Mm -hmm. 230 calories, 440 milligrams of sodium. It has like little poppy seeds on the outside. That's cute. It's like a little bagel moment. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that cheese. This one's delicious. Like so good. It tastes just like the Philly cheesesteak hot pocket. Again, like exactly. It's so good. If you've had that, you've had this basically. It's great. I have no complaints. The cheese is cheesy. The steak is steaky. I love it. Okay, last but not least, we have one more item. The chicken and bacon ranch pizza. I am pumped for this because the other two pizzas snatched me. Pizza with reduced fat mozzarella, garlic, chicken breast, ranch sauce, tomatoes, bacon, and spinach. Ooh, sounds very delightful. This is it. It has a good amount of chicken on it. Uh, the bacon does have that fake bacon smell, which we do not stand. We do not know that. Y'all know that about me. <laughs> I'm just gonna slice it up. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. I've been eating so much. There's no rush. There's no rush. <sighs> Definitely the least good out of the three pizzas, but not bad. Needs salt. It has a fake bacony flavor, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. It doesn't taste like ranch. Overall kind of basic. Okay, guys. So I taste tested everything. Now it's time to rank it all. Now, I realize that because there are so many items, it might be difficult to rank them. So I think I'm going to do a top three worst and a top three best, okay? So the worst ones, in my opinion, are the Thai chicken pocket thingy, the beef stir fry pocket thingy, <laughs> and the frittata. I did not like any of those. They weren't good to me, period. Now y'all my favorite. I'm gonna do third best, second best, and first best. I think in third place, I'm gonna have to go with the hamburger. I thought it was great, simple, microwavable hamburger. In second place, I'm gonna have to go with the cheesesteak pizza. So good. And in first place, I'm gonna have to go with the Italian sausage and pepperoni pizza. So good. I ate the whole thing right now. I'm not even gonna save it. I just ate it all, girl. And yeah, so that was my Nutrisystem appetizer taste test. Give this video a thumbs up if you want part two and three. Please let me know if you actually want to because I will make it, okay? Part two and three, it'll be dinner and then desserts. Yay! So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget about the membership. If you want to join, you can. If you don't, that's totally fine. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.